preferably a touchdown, of course. Let's see if Paul Chris goes on the attack here. Here's Donovan. And this one's intercepted. Pass was underthrown, intercepted by the linebacker Corey Hansen. And Northern Illinois takes over at the 41-yard line. And that's an interception that Paul Chris is going to talk to Tyler Donovan and say, young man, why throw the ball here? Look at the pressure from English, 51. He disrupts the play by getting in the face of Tyler Donovan. So in that case, you pull it down and don't throw it. How about this for a stat, Wayne? Five out of the last six interceptions that Tyler Donovan has thrown. Mendek, one of the uh, the finest uh, field goal kickers uh, in the land, tremendously strong leg. It'll be out of the hole to Greg Turner from the left hash mark. This will be a 36-yard attempt for Chris Mendek, and Turner's going to pick the football up. Turner's got a first down, Northern Illinois. Greg Turner off the field goal fake picks up that. That's Simon, the three wide receivers, Justin Anderson at the tail for quarterback Dan Nicholson. Run that stretch play on the ground. Justin Anderson is come free. Anderson inside the 10 and got tripped up on that touchdown saving tackle Big. by Eastern Michigan's Jason Jones, who ran down Anderson from behind. Big play by Anderson. Big play right when they need it. They take it off tackle. They pull the center around. Great block for the linebackers. Get the guys down, and he does the rest. Great hustle on the play. That's a great, great run. Great. Third of the yard. 39-yard line of Temple. 7-19 to play. 13-9 Temple. Owls with a four-point lead in Philadelphia. The give. Anderson runs it for the first down. To the 20, he's loose to the 10, angles to the pylon, touchdown. Northern Illinois and Justin Anderson, sooner or later, he was going to pop one, and he did from 39 yards out. 39 yards out. They had eight stacked in the box, third and short, and once it was into green grass, it was Katie bar the door. Justin Anderson, pay dirt, 39 yards, and the Huskies right now have gone ahead. They've capitalized on them. Brown steps up, throws, and is intercepted. John Tranchatella makes a play, and that should do it. At the 114 mark, John Tranchatella picks off the pass, and that will give Northern Illinois the football, and it looks like a victory. Tranchatella focus totally on the eyes of John Brown. John Brown does not look the receiver off. He is looking right where he wants to throw the ball. Tranchatella gets a great break on the ball, goes up for the football, makes a really good catch, secures the football down inside. Oh, that is a marvelous play by that young inside linebacker. He'll remember that. He'll remember that in interception every time he Nicholson with the ball. We're under center. Going back to the air. Looking into the end zone. They got it. You got a flag on a play, but I don't think it's going to matter. Touchdown Northern. Britt Davis will pull that one in. And unless it was Britt Davis on the reception or the uh, on offensive pass interference, and I don't think it was, it's going to be uh, declined. It's going to be a, a pass interference against Myshawn Beasley yep. Pettis. He actually had perfect coverage on the play. He just did not find the football. And when you can't find the football, one, the receiver has a, an advantage over you, and two, they're going to call you for pass interference because you're face guarding. Had he turned his head right now and found that football, he, he probably was in good position to pick it off because it was not a great throw. Morgan is going to be blown up. Football's loose, and Northern Illinois got it. Morgan went down in a heap, and the football squirted loose. Josh Allen, the man who blew it up, Zach Larson, made the recovery. It looks like Morgan's down. Great blitz call. Great blitz call. Look at Josh Allen on the run and tackling not to the ball carrier, but through the ball carrier. Here we see it again. The, 
right now what you, what you have here is you have an offense, running backs, and down linemen. Illinois, Carol Owens, the Fatty's Pub Halftime Report. Stats, highlights, and the interview. It's all coming up. And Ryan Morris is going downtown. Britt Davis, did he make the catch? I believe he did. Yes, he did. Outstanding grab. And Northern Illinois is in business at the Ball State 35. David, what a great call by Ray Roy Whitkey, the offensive coordinator and quarterback coach at Northern Illinois. First play from scrimmage after the a missed field goal. Here's, here it is, high point, high point. You're coaching the wide receivers to take the football at its highest point. It's a jump ball, David. You can relate to that in basketball. His timing is perfect. They need to get just inside the 41 for a first down. Third down and five. First possession of the game, Simon in motion to the bottom of the formation. Morris, slight roll to the right, throws, Simon on the slant, got it, from a Kevin Edwards, and he breaks the tackle. He's at the 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown at Simon in Northern Illinois. Exotic formations early in this first drive for Northern Illinois, Paul Johnson expecting them to come out big, but you look at it, Matt Morris, easy, right here, boom. Hits Simon in stride, and that's just poor tackling on the outside. And this is the thing that's so Crowd watching it on the huge scoreboards here at Soldier Field, and they obviously didn't like it either. It was a great hustle play by A.J. Eads, but he was, you know, clearly out of bounds. First down. Deep, wide open, caught Greg Turner. Inside the three yard line. I like that play. I really do, Doug, because you have a, a big 15 yard pickup, and now you come with a, a play that Iowa has attacked you up front. And then you just take the ball down the field. What did I say about it? You're only down by 10. Last year it was 17. Here they come. That was a 40 yard pickup. Watch the defense. They all are cognizant of something going on, but not quite sure. But the safeties don't get back far enough for Greg Turner.